Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve uh, some questions about the simple interest. First of all, whenever I have a question on the simple interest, I have to remember two important rules. The first one is that interest is equivalent to PRT. Interest is the amount of money I'm going to gain from the bank. P is my principal, which is the amount of money I plan to invest in the bank, the amount of money that I started my invest, investment with. R is the rate of interest given by the bank. Usually R is given as a percentage and I have to change it into a fraction or a decimal to use it in the equation. T is the number of years or months I'm going to find in the question. The second rule is ending balance equals principal plus I. Ending balance is actually, as what we see here in the question, the total amount of money in the account at the end of the time. Whatever the time was one year or more than that. The ending balance is the total amount of money that I found in my account by the end of the years of investment is equivalent to the principal, what I put in the bank at the first uh, on the first year or before uh, yeah, at the beginning of my of the investment, plus the I, which is the interest gained by the bank. Let's work out the first question. James invests 200 pounds. So this is my principal for one year in a bank account. This is the time. The account pays simple interest at a rate of 3%. So this is R. Work out the total amount of money in the account at the end of the year. So he needs the ending balance. I will start working out the interest first. After getting the interest, I will add it to the principal to get the ending balance. I equals PRT which is 200 multiplied by the rate is three over 100 multiplied by the time, which is one. So this is equivalent to two multiplied by three times one, which is six pounds. So the interest is going to be six pounds. So ending balance is equivalent to P plus I, which is 200 plus six, I need 206 pounds at that. So the two rules I used in order. First thing, I will get the interest by multiplying principal times rate times time. And take care that you have to drop the rate as a fraction or in the fraction form or in the percent or in the decimal form. Because sometimes if I decided to use the percentage form, I might forget the percentage sign typing the percentage sign on the calculator. So I will spoil the whole question. That please, please don't forget to change the percent into fraction or decimal to avoid forgetting the percentage sign. After getting the interest, I'm going to add it to the principal in order to get the final value or the value of the ending balance. Question two, Sammy invests 400 pounds for two years at 5% per year simple interest. Work out the total interest Sammy gets. In this question, the question wants the total interest, which is the I. I don't need the ending balance. I want the total interest. And the term of the word total here means the total interest over the two years, which means I'm going to use the same rule. I equals PRT. I equals 400 multiplied by 0 0.05. I can just write it in the decimal form, the rate in decimal form, multiplied by time. Use your calculators to get the, the answer here. Let me use mine here. I'll type 400 multiplied by 0 0.05 multiplied by two. I will get 40. So the answer is 40 pounds at the end. Question three. Caroline invested 700 pounds for three years at 2% per annum simple interest. Per annum stands for per year. Work out the total amount of interest Caroline earned. Also here in this question, I need the interest. I don't want the ending balance. Interest equals P times R times T. So 700 multiplied by 0 0.02. Don't forget to use your calculator to work out the percent here. Two divided by 100, you will get this one. Multiplied by three. So 700 multiplied by 0 0.02 multiplied by three. I will get the interest of 
42, so it's 42 pounds. Okay. Question four, the same idea, nothing new here in this question. Let's check question five. Faith invests 800 pounds for three years in a bank account. The account pays simple interest at a rate of 0.4% per year. Percent per year. Work out the total amount of interest Faith has got at the end of the three years. Exactly the same idea, nothing new here. Okay. Let's check other questions. Okay. Jonah invests 400 pounds in a bank account that pays 3.5% simple interest per year. So the principal is 400 and the interest rate is 3.5%. At the end of each year, Jonah spends three over five of the interest and gives the rest to his brother. How much money does, does Jonah give to his brother each year? First of all, we want to get the interest and then we are going to calculate three over five of the interest. And this will happen each year. So I'm going to work that the time is one year and I will get the interest for only one year and calculate three over five of that interest. Interest equals 400 multiplied by 0 0.035, 3.5 divided by 100, multiplied by one because it's only for one year. Use your calculators 400 multiplied by 0 0.035. This will give me 14. Is 14 my answer? No. Actually, he spends 3 over 5 of the interest and gives the rest to his brother. If I have to get the rest, I want to know the amount of money that his brother will get. Someone would think of, I will get 3 over 5 of the amount of the interest, and then I'm going to subtract what I got from the 14. Other ones will think in a different way. If Jonah actually spends three over five of the interest and gives the rest to his brother, but the rest is going to be one minus three over five, which means the fraction of the amount of the interest that his brother is going to get is two over five. So his brother is going to get two over five of the 14. And as we all know, I'm going to translate off into multiplication. So this means two over five multiplied by 14, which is 28 over five pounds. Uh, I prefer writing the final answer in the mix of number four. So this is equivalent to five and three over five, or five pounds and three over five of one pound, which is exactly equal to 60 cents. So the final answer is five, 0.60 cents. Whenever I have, whenever I have an answer which is actually representing a currency, it's better to write it in the decimal form as what you see. So five and three over five is equivalent to 5.60. How can we get it? I have to make the base 100, or I have to make the denominator 100. To make the 500, I will just multiply by 20. And I'll apply the same multiplication on the numerator. So I will get 5 and 60 over 100, which is 5.60. Another question. Evie is saving up to buy a guitar that costs 109 pounds. She opens an account at Corbett Bank that pays 3% per annum simple interest. Per annum means per year. She puts 800 pounds into the account. Evie does not make any deposits or withdrawals, so she is going to invest this of 800 pounds. After how many whole years will Evie have earned enough interest to buy the guitar? So I'm going to calculate the interest that she is going to get, and let's do the try and error. I'm going to try different cases, maybe after one year, after two years, and so on. Let's try to calculate the interest of one year. If uh, she left the money in the account for one year, so I equals PRT, which is 800 multiplied by rate, the rate, which is 0 0.03 multiplied by one. Maybe the interest is going to cover the cost of the guitar after one year only. So I'm going to multiply 800 times 0 0.03. I will find that this is 24. It's so far from the 109. Let's try if I left, oh, if she left the money for four years in the bank. 
Just try and error. I equals 800 multiplied by 0 0.03 multiplied by 4. So I'm going to multiply 800 times 0 0.03 multiplied by 4. I will get 96. Is it enough? Can she just leave the money in the bank for only four years? Actually, it's not enough. This amount of money is not going to cover the 109. So let's try for five years. After five years, the interest is 800 multiplied by 0 0.03 multiplied by five. So type it on the calculator and then we are going to get the answer, which is 120. Is 120 going to cover the cost of the guitar? Yes. What is the minimum number of years that, of whole years, that EV have to leave the money in the bank and get an interest that will cover the cost of the guitar? Actually, the answer here is going to be five years. If at the end, I have to write that my answer is five years. Okay, another question. Uh, okay, Solomon wants to invest 600 pounds for three years and he has two options. Corbett Bank is going to give him a 2% per annum simple interest. Banks R Us is going to give him 2.5% per annum simple interest for the first year, 1% per annum simple interest for the following years. And actually he's going to invest his money for three years. Which bank should uh, which which bank should Solomon choose? Let's start working out the interest of each bank, and we are going to compare both interests together. First of all, the first interest in Corbett Bank, I'm going to type PRT, which is 600 multiplied by the rate here 0 0.02 multiplied by three. At the end of the three years, let's check what will he get. Type it on the calculator. And you'll find that it's 36 pounds. The second bank, let's check the condition of the second bank. 2.5% per annum simple interest for the first year and 1% simple interest for the following years. So I'm going to calculate the first one, which is interest of the first year equals PRT, which is the principal 600 multiplied by 0 0.025 multiplied by one, because it's only for the first year. 600 multiplied by 0 0.025, I will get 15 pounds. Interest of the second and third years. So he wants to finish the three years. First year, I will have, oh, he will have 2.5%, but actually for the second and the third year, he will get 1%. So here PRT equals 600 multiplied by 0 0.01. This is the rate of the second interval for the second and third years multiplied by how many years is he going to work here? How is he going to leave his money here? Second and third, which is two years. On the calculator, I'll get 600 multiplied by 0 0.01 multiplied by two, which is... 12 pounds. In Corbett Bank, after three years, you will get an interest of 36 pounds. In Banks R Us, he is going to get 15 pounds after the first year and 12 pounds after the third year. So at the end, 15 plus 12, which is the total here is 27 pounds. Which bank is better? Which bank would he choose? In this case, he will compare the interest here and there. 36, of course, is bigger than 27, so Corbett Bank is going to uh, win in this case. Okay. Laura invests 2,400 pounds in an account that pays 1.2% in interest per annum. She invests the money for five years. At the end of each year, Laura gives the interest to her two sisters, Hannah and Freya, in the ratio of three to seven. How much money does Freya receive in total? In this case, I'm going to just calculate the simple interest over the five years, and I'm going to split the amount of the interest on this ratio three to seven. 
So we don't need to calculate after one year. We want to know at the end, at the end of the five years, how much Freya is going to receive in total. Like interest equals PRT 2,400 multiplied by 0 0.012 multiplied by five. This is the interest for the five years. So 2400 0 multiplied by 0 0.012 multiplied by five which is 144. To split the 144 on three to seven ratio, so simply as what we know before, I'm going to add the parts of the ratio. Three plus seven equals 10. This is step one. Step two, I'm going to divide the 144 on the 10. 144 divided by 10, which is 14.4. Step three, what do I need to get? Do I need to get the exact the exact amount each one of them will get. No, I'm going to get actually the exact amount of the amount that Freya is going to get. Let's get back to the ratio. The ratio states Hannah and Freya three to seven. So the first part representing Hannah and the second part representing Freya. So I want to get the amount of money which is corresponding to seven parts here, the parts that Freya is going to get. So I will multiply 14.4 which I just got by the number of parts Freya is going to get. On the calculator, I have here 14.4 multiplied by seven. You'll find that she is going to get 100.80 pounds. So this is the amount of money she will get after five years. Okay. Nicole invested some money for three years into an account that pays 2% per year simple interest. Here, I don't know the principal. I don't know the principal, but I know that the T, the time, is three years. And I know that the simple interest rate is 0 0.02. She earned 7.20 interest in total. So I'm given the I, and I don't know the P. I know the R, I know the T. Let's substitute in the rule. I equals PRT. I is given here 7.2 equals P, which is unknown, multiplied by the rate 0 0.02, multiplied by the time, which is 3. 7.2 equals the question somehow turned to be solving equations. I'm going to solve to get the value of P. P is not the uh, subject of the equation. I'm going to move anything beside the P to the other side as a division. 0 0.02 multiplied by three first, this part is going to get me 0 0.06. So 7.2 divided by 0 0.06 is going to be the answer, which means P equals 120 pounds. So this was the principle that was put in the bank for three years and the simple interest rate is 2%, and at the end, the interest gained is going to be this one. So the principal here is 120 pounds. Thank you so much for watching and see you in another video. Don't forget to watch the video of the compound interest. And also it might include, actually it will include uh, a question which compares between simple interest and compound interest. Uh, if I have two different offers from two different banks, what should I? Uh, do I have to calculate the interest in both cases and make my decision. Thank you so much and see you in another video.